Yo guys, it's Atrix here and finally you can now run Xbox 360 games on your Android devices. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to set up the Xbox 360 emulator Xenia on your mobile devices and trying out games like Forza Horizon 2 to see how well do they actually work. I'll be showing you the full setup gameplay. We'll be using a secret method that works even on Mali GPU Android devices, which is using the Game Hub emulator. So let's get started. Alright guys, let's get started through today's video. For today, we'll be using the Game Hub Windows emulator for Android as I mentioned before because we'll be emulating a PC Xbox 360 emulator known as the Xenia Xbox 360 emulator. Now Xenia is an open source Xbox 360 emulator which has been in development since a very long time and this is the only real Xbox 360 emulator that you can play on PC but also now on Android with the method that I'll be showing you guys. So before getting started hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications. We'll be using the Windows latest releases. Once you have added the Xenia emulator on your Android device, create a folder and keep it there. Afterwards, you'll need to set up the Game Hub Windows emulator for Android on which I have already made multiple videos on before. You guys can check it out on the iCard above. Game Hub is a completely amazing Windows emulator for Android which is capable of emulating games like Assassin's Creed, Grand Theft Auto and lot more. And now even the Xenia emulator for Android devices. I have already added the Canary version of Xenia emulator. Canary is basically more stable version of Xenia. And you can go to the end of the Game Hub emulator, tap on the import section after select PC game. Now, now I actually have the both versions of Xenia emulator, the normal version as well as Canary version. For today's video, let's try out the normal version because we have already tried out Canary version previously. When you add it on your Android device, the Game Hub emulator will start adding a firmware which is required to run this Xbox 360 emulator on Android. Let's wait until this process is completed. Afterwards, we'll go back and select the Xenia emulator. Now when you open it directly, you will notice some problems because without applying the best settings, but you guys can see Xenia emulator has successfully started. Let's apply the best settings to fix everything and get the best performance. We'll go to PC settings and here we'll set the screen resolution very low. I'll go with 800 by 600. Afterwards, go to compatibility in terms of Wine version. It is recommended that you go with Proton 10 ARM64 version of Wine. So here I'll just go ahead and add it. And while that is being added, we'll go to translation parameters and make sure to select the performance parameter, which is very important. So here we go, the Proton version of Wine has been added. I have selected it in terms of GPU driver. You can keep it as default. Game of Emulator will automatically select the best graphics driver. And in terms of uh, the DXVK version, you'll need to go with the DXVK 2.6.1 Asynchronous. This is a really amazing DX wrapper. And in terms of VKD3D, go with the VKD3D Proton 2.14.1. Once that has been done, everything else, make sure to set it as no limit. Go to the input mapping option and make sure to turn it on. And yeah, guys, that's about it. We have successfully set up all the best settings to run the Xenia emulator on our Android device. Once that has been done, simply launch the emulator and as you can see, it has successfully started. We'll get this FPS bar only if the Xenia emulator is working and uh, if the FPS bar is present, then it means your emulator has successfully started. Now what we'll do is we'll simply go to the file section, which is most important. And here we'll need to tap on the open button and go to the directory where you have stored your Xbox 360 game. So here you guys can see I have stored the Forza Horizon 2 Xbox 360 game on my Android device. I'll simply select it and tap on the open button. Running Forza Horizon games on our Android devices is a very huge deal. Since a very long time, I have always dreamt of playing Forza Horizon on my Android device. And as you guys can see, our game has successfully started after we launched the game inside our Xenia emulator Android. And just take a look at how smooth this is running. We are getting almost 60 FPS. Now you cannot expect this smooth amount of gameplay from every Xbox 360 game that you try to emulate because this is just the beginning cutscene. It is pre-recorded video. That's why we are seeing 60 FPS gameplay. But it won't be the same case with all the games. Most of the games will either have graphical issues or will face lags and crashing issues. So here we go, our Forza Horizon 2 has successfully started on our Android device. Just take a look at this graphic. Even during this intro cutscene, we are getting about 30 FPS and yeah, running Forza Horizon 2 on our mobile device, even booting this game on our Android device is a completely dream come true scenario. I have pressed the X button and now it is saying uh, the video settings etc so we'll just go ahead and press the a button to save everything you guys can see the forza horizon loading screen this is literally unbelievable i never thought that i will be running forza horizon on my android device you guys won't believe it i'm a very big fan of racing games and forza horizon running this game natively on mobile has been one of my biggest dreams i play it on pc all the time the forza horizon 5 obviously but even forza horizon 2 will suffice for now if it works 
and I am quite surprised guys the loading times are super quick everything loads so fast and here we go even the audio output is working which is pretty amazing I have no idea if you guys can hear but this is a big deal guys and I can also feel my device heating up we are getting 30 fps during this cutscene here we go here's the moment of truth if our xbox 360 game will be actually playable booting is different thing playing is completely different I can actually hear the sound working by the way I don't know if you guys can hear the graphical output is completely black so this is a bit different than what I have seen this is another cutscene I guess which we can skip so let's wait until this cutscene is over. So here we go the cutscene was over and it is now saying the guest has crashed. So unfortunately it seems that Forza Horizon 2 has crashed on our Android device as soon as the cutscene was over. But this is definitely a big step in terms of Xbox 360 emulation on Android and we do have some native upcoming Xbox 360 emulators like the Xenia project from the developer of APS3 himself. So make sure to subscribe stay tuned for more gameplay test I'll be adding some more more games like Spore, GTA 5 and so on to test out inside this simulator. I'll see you guys in those videos. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.